Hey guys, what we're going to be focusing on next is we're going to be focusing on using a foam roller for myofascial release. Okay, so myofascial is a, is a word that really gets thrown around a lot uh, by personal trainers and in gyms. But then when you ask people about it, they don't really know what the myofascia is. So I'm going to give you a quick lesson and tutorial on what that is, so then you can kind of understand that a little bit better and you know what you're doing with a foam roller. Okay, so myofascia is basically a connective tissue that's between the skin and the muscle. And now, as we train and we develop, we do lots of training and get that, get, we get develop the tightness so that, that muscle, the, the fascia tissue will thicken uh, in order to protect that muscle. And now what, what happens when that happens is we develop trigger points that need to be released. So a really good way that we can release those is with a foam roller, okay? So I've got two foam rollers here um, of different styles or as I call them, different pain settings. Um, obviously you can see this one uh, is the one that's got that final pain setting, uh, really, really challenging on this one, uh, and that's gonna really help to hit those trigger points a little bit more, okay? Because I'm demonstrating today, I'm gonna avoid that one because I don't think anyone wants to hear me screaming around all over the place, so I'm gonna use this one for the day, okay? So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you a way that we can foam roll a few different areas. We're gonna foam roll the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes, and the lats, okay? So the lats are the ones that you might hear me uh, making a few noises on. Uh, so, First things first, what we're going to do is we're going to foam roll the quad. So we're going to take that foam roller into position. We're going to take that knee down onto the foam roller. We're going to take that knee out to the side. And what we're going to do is we're just going to roll forward and backwards, okay? Now if you do find any spots that are particularly tight, spend a bit of time on them. If they're tight, then that's a tricky spot and that's what we want to be releasing, okay? So I've got a little bit of one here, so I'm just going to spend a little bit of time just rolling up and down that. And from there you can just move around, see if you've got any other spots in there. Okay, so that's how you foam roll your quads. You can also foam roll the quads by going over onto the squads and just moving up and down, moving from side to side. And then again, if you do find any spots that are particularly painful, that's the spot that you want to be working on, okay? So, hamstrings are next. What we're going to do? is we're going to take that leg over and we're going to place, you can either place some weight on it or you can take that foot to the side, okay? So this way is going to be a lot less, a lot, you're going to be in a lot more control of the rolling and this way you're going to have a lot more force on, okay? So if you do find any spots on those hamstrings then just spend a little bit of time on those, okay? You can also hit the quad from a slightly different angle so if you hit it from here, this is where you'll get a lot of pain because we're in this side area of that quad. So make sure you are controlled with this. Moving up, moving down, and then again you can make that a little bit harder by just raising that leg up and down, okay? From there, we can also get the glutes just by sitting down, taking that foot over, and again, just moving forward, controlling that, and if you do find some spots that are particularly tight, don't ignore them. They're the spots that you need to work on that will help to reduce that pain. Okay? You can also get the calves. Calves are a good one to focus on. And we can hit the calves quite well by turning that foot upwards and just rolling forwards and rolling backwards on that calf. Or if you want to be that little bit more challenging, you can put that leg on top and just move it up and down the calf. Remembering to come all the way down towards the foot and all the way back up, not avoiding any of those spots, okay? So, what we're going to do next is we're going to foam roll the lats. Now, for myself, I do this a lot before I do a lot of Olympic lifting. I feel like it does help to increase the mobility of my lats and it helps me to um, get into that front rack position a little bit easier, get into my overhead squat a little bit easier as well, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to lie into that on the lower back, we're going to hug the body, and we're just going to roll down. Roll, okay, roll down and roll up. Then if you want that to be a little bit more intense, you can move from side to side, okay? So moving all the way up the body from side to side and all the way backwards, okay? And the final one I'm gonna show you is the one you might hear me make some noises on and that's the way that we can really get into that lat. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn onto that side, we're gonna take that arm above the head, we're gonna turn into the side and we're gonna roll up and down, um, focusing on any tight spots. So I've got a little bit of a tight spot here. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time just working on that. And 
and that will just help get rid of all that tension in that area. Okay guys, so that's a basic lesson in foam rolling.